It is June 16th, 2023, and you are watching The Code Report. As we edge closer and closer to the singularity, more and more crazy stuff is going to happen in tech. In today's video, I have five crazy stories to share with you about things you should know about as a developer this week. Let's get started with some bad news. Google Domains is shutting down, or more accurately, being sold to Squarespace. This announcement came out of nowhere and was pretty shocking to me as a Google Domains customer, because Google rarely kills its own products, except for Stadia, Hangouts, Duo, Google+, Android Things, Loon, AngularJS, and a few hundred others. In addition, just a few weeks ago, they announced a bunch of new top-level domains, like .dad and .zip, and I'm the proud owner of kung.foo, but apparently you guys didn't do your part and buy enough of these domains to make the platform viable for Google, and that means I now have to call myself a Squarespace developer. That's pretty bad, but it's nothing compared to what Russia's Killnet is about to do to the global banking system. They teamed up with Anonymous Sudan and a few other friends to make these extremely cheesy videos, letting the world know about their upcoming attack well in advance. Within 48 hours, we are launching this global company. Nothing will save you and this is not a warning. I am just informing you. You have never seen such problems before. We are killing it. Now there were some actual cyber attacks on US government infrastructure yesterday, but as of right now, the banking system is still intact. We knew stuff like this was going to happen because our friends at the World Economic Forum have been worrying about it for the last few years. The frightening scenario of a comprehensive cyber attack, the COVID-19 crisis would be seen in this respect as a small disturbance in comparison. And as expected, it's playing out like a Hollywood movie, while simultaneously we have aliens landing in people's backyards. I told you 2023 was gonna get weird. Now lately, I've managed to restrain myself from talking about artificial intelligence, but OpenAI just released a really cool new feature called Functions, which allows GPT-4 to format responses that could execute your own backend code. Basically, it allows GPT-4 to output JSON in a more deterministic way. As a developer, you provide an array of functions that it can call, which allows it to format the responses in JSON with the correct arguments and data data types, and that makes it far easier to build chatbots that execute your own code. Speaking of AI, Vercel just released a brand new NPM package called AI. I tried it out myself, and it's by far the quickest and easiest way to build an AI chatbot. I'll have a full tutorial on my second channel soon, so make sure you're subscribed over there, but what makes it so cool is that it provides helpers for streaming text responses that allow you to recreate that typing effect that you get in apps like ChatGPT. In addition, it integrates with all the major LLMs on platforms like Anthropic, Cohere, Hugging Face, and of course OpenAI. Next, we have an update on Reddit, which is still currently on fire. There's still close to 5,000 subreddits in private mode, which has been extended from 48 hours to indefinitely until Reddit provides fair API pricing. Reddit CEO Steve Huffman is prepared to die on this hill, and a leaked internal email showed him downplaying the impact of the protest, which made people even more angry, and that means we may never get our beloved programmer humor subreddit back, at least until they kick out the mods and reopen it manually. This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.